When a surgeon asks you to go get yourself a post-op bra before your either mastectomy or lumpectomy surgery, they're very specific about what they mean by post-op bra. And I'm gonna tell you a little bit more about that. Hi, I'm Sherry from Twin Sisters Mastectomy Boutique. And if you like our videos, please like and subscribe, share, comment down below. We really appreciate the support. So here's the thing. A post-op bra is not just a regular bra that you wear. It is a bra that has no underwire. It doesn't have a lot of structure to it. It's usually made out of a breathable fabric like cotton, and it does up in the front. And this is very, very important. Now, the reason that the surgeons want you to do it up in the front is because they don't want you reaching behind your back to try to do up your bra because you might not have the full range of motion that is required. And the doctors don't want you to have a bra that you pull over your head because you're not supposed to lift your arms for a while and you don't want to tear any stitching or anything. So putting on a bra that does up in the front really solves that problem. Also, you don't necessarily want to do up your bra in the front and then twist around and pull it up because that can also maybe cause some irritation to the skin and just generally be uncomfortable. So a post-op bra does up in the front. It's breathable. It doesn't have a lot of seams, like very few seams usually a wider back because you may be wearing this 24 seven for a while. And some of them may have adjustable straps and some of them may not, but these are super comfortable. They also do come with pockets that you can put in a puff, which has no weight. It's just made out of fiber fill to give you the illusion of having a breast there. And they are also fit with a band at the bottom that is able to hold a pocket for a drainage tube which is really helpful if you happen to have drainage tubes that come uh, generally from under the arm and then they have a tube and then they have a bulb at the end which collects fluid. These will attach just with Velcro and the Velcro is uh, on the part facing out. So it's not Velcro against your skin, but you can see that this is great. You can just tuck your uh, little bulbs in there and then they are out of the way and not flinging around anywhere. And it doesn't matter that they're high up because the drainage tubes have a suction to them. So when you get a post-op bra, even if you have a bra of your own because you don't want to spend the money, get something without underwire that does up in the front that's breathable, that fits you comfortably, not tight, not terribly loose, but fits you comfortably. And these usually come in small, medium, large, extra large, and so on, because again, they're not structured. And the cup size is usually A slash B, C slash D, et cetera, because um, it's meant to be a comfortable, loose, not loose fitting, but a comfortable fit that is not going to put a lot of pressure on any part of your body. So that is a post-op bra. They come in lots of different colors and super comfortable. You will probably wear them for years after just because they're so comfortable. So I hope that helps and we'll see you soon.